Yeah. So experts broadly predicting a slowdown, not a recession as we head into 2024, but expectations for 2023 we're wrong. So let's bring in our world-renowned expert, former Reagan economist, Art Laffer. So Art, I hope your Christmas was a good one. So where is it the wasn't. recession? Well, I don't know about where the recession is now, but I do know that Biden is totally incorrect in describing that it's the press's problem or it's something. Bidenomics isn't working because people, inflation is way, way down. That's true. But prices aren't down. They're up 20 percent and people buy things at prices, not at inflation. So they're 20 percent worse off than they were when he took office. And GDP growth last quarter was very good. It was a little less than 5 percent. But people don't look at GDP growth. You can have very rapid growth on a zero GDP. What you really want to look at is the level of GDP, which is way down from the trend line it was under Trump. And, and the last thing, if you look at interest rates and participation rates, they are way, way down. Unemployment rates may be low, but employment low rates are even lower. And people have jobs that are employment rates, not unemployment rates. So everything yeah. the president was saying about the economy and how it's been really good and all that is just plain wrong. And if he's as bad on his forecast next year as he has been, been this past year. Hold on to your seatbelts. <laughs> yeah. We're in for a bad ride. And, that, and that's the disconnect. What you're describing is what people are feeling. Yes, totally. And the president would like, yeah. So let me ask you this. I want to I want to go back to this recession talk. Uh, could it be that all the government spending, which is now starting to be spent, has actually pushed off that inevitable recession? I don't think it's pushed it off. I mean, government spending does not, I mean, transfer payments do not help the economy. When you give a guy a million bucks, that guy decides to take off work, shout his friends a beer, go on vacation, quit work for a while and have some fun and enjoy life. So all of that transfer payments that have been put in by the Biden administration have reduced the employment rate dramatically. That's why I was so insistent on employment rates are very low, 62 plus percent. Uh, that's a problem. I mean, when Clinton took office, it was much left office. It was much, much higher. That's the problem is they pay these people and they've left their jobs, even though the unemployment rate is low. The employment rate is even lower. And that's where the real problem is. And that's a long run problem, Ed. That's not just a yeah. recession problem. I mean, given what's happening in government policy today, I am not joyful about next the prospects <laughs> for next year's economy. I'm just not. So Taxes it, are going it, up. Spending's going up. Inflation. Yeah. yeah. In the last minute that we have, I want to ask you uh, uh, about this. Pull out sure. your crystal ball. How long do you think it could take? Uh, let's say a Republican gets elected president. How long do you think it would take to to bring prices down? We've all heard about inflation coming down. But with the right policies in place, could prices actually come down? Well, it, it depends on whether Trump could get control of the Fed or not. I mean, the Fed really does control its balance sheet. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be independent. The Fed should be controlled by the administration, and the administration gets blamed for inflation. But I think Trump can do a lot of things, like executive orders, et cetera, that could have a major effect on prices. But I don't think he'd get a price level dropping back to where it was, let's say, when Biden took office. I, right. I don't think that's possible. But we could keep it from rising any further in the, in the out years. That we can do very easily. Right. Yeah, and that ship has sailed. Well, prices up, as you said, 20 percent, 17.7 percent is the exact it, figure. It is difficult. And that's a lot. That's a lot of pain that Americans are feeling. Art Laffer, I appreciate your help.